So I have three dollhouses total. I have one that looks like a miniature museum. And this is actually like my dollhouse um, where I have, you know, the kitchen and, um, you know, the spare bedrooms and um, the elaborate bathrooms. And this dollhouse was built sometime in the 1970s by a guy that worked for Howard Hughes Aircraft. It's really, really amazing. Um, what's cool about this dollhouse, well, other than the fact that it's humongous and has 18 bedrooms, um, you know, has a kitchen, dining area, um, has a library, some really cool like bathrooms and the kids' rooms. Um, here's actually the library right here. The house was a Christmas present um, like two years ago uh, from my boyfriend. He he knows I love dollhouses and miniatures and he got me this amazing, amazing dollhouse, which I just thought was so crazy because you know, we had only been seeing each other for <laughs> a short period of time, but um, I was just so shocked and happy when I got it. Um, it is a one-of-a-kind. It's not made from a kit, so it could never be, you know, duplicated. Um, and I think that's what, you know, makes it so cool and valuable is the fact that it's the only one. I mean, to try to copy this would just be so much work. Um, and again, it was made in the 1970s. So what's really cool is that the way that you get in to the dollhouse are actually by these windows. You open them up and then, you know, you get access, you know, into the dollhouse. This is um, the kitchen. I wanted to look like there was a lot going on, you know, cooking and baking and dishes and, you know, dogs and cats running around and, you know, the kind of messy pantry with all the food and you know the dog stuff and I just love the little stove We've got like pizzas and meats and you know things cooking and there's actually the little dog right there um, and then through the doorway is actually the dining room which is on the other side and then this room is a music room um, you know just like my other dollhouse I always kind of have a music room that's got you know pianos and guitars and stuff which I actually love pianos and guitars so that's probably why I have this stuff in here um, when I got the dollhouse for Christmas it had some furniture in it but of course you know not as much stuff as there is now um, here's kind of like a really big view of some of the rooms. Um, here's like the little girl's room with all the toys. And I made sure it looked, you know, kind of messy and you know, that she had like all kinds of like little toys. And then here's kind of like what would be sort of the man's hangout. Um, you know, they've got like beers and this is like a gun rack and a safe and you know, this, um, stuff in the back, you know, just like cards and, you know, just wanted it to kind of look like a, you know, kind of a retreat for, a, for a man. And then, um, this always kind of looked to me like a, like a grandma's room. Um, I don't have, um, like a grandma doll. I mean, I could always get one, but I don't have one. Um, and this is like the second little girl's room and I have all these like really beautiful, handmade little dolls that I put in there so this is kind of like the view sort of when you open like this giant window and then this is a really great room underneath um, just because it's got some cool like antiques and stuff inside so it's got like the little marble fireplace and like another piano and some cool little kind of antiques. 
But like I said, you know, there was very few things inside the dollhouse when I got it. And I just sort of um, took everything out and, you know, cleaned it up and then um, kind of put it back together again, sort of, uh, it was kind of a mess, you know, when I got it. I mean, all the furniture was just sort of scattered and the rooms didn't really seem to flow or, you know, make any sense. But um, once I put it back together, I, th I think it looks really great. So here's the master bedroom. And I'll go ahead and open the window because you can see better. But um, we've got like, you know, the wife has like all her little shopping bags and like jewelry, vanity. And here's like the two little dolls that I got supposed to be like the mom and dad <laughs> and then they have the little dog and here's like some little books and stuff pictures and candles and it's really cool because a lot of the rooms have fireplaces so that's kind of neat and then um let me go around to the other side because there's a room that I really like over there um, here's the bathroom, one of the bathrooms. It has um, three bathrooms, and here's one of them. And you can kind of see, you know, if you just open the little window, you, know, you can get in and get like a better view of it. This room I really like too. I think it's really pretty. It's like a tiny little library. And my Dollhouse Museum also has a library, but this one looks, you know, very different. It's like a lot darker, you know, there's like the dark velvet chairs, um, you know, tons of like tiny little books and a clock. Of course, there's like another piano. There's probably like three or four pianos in this house. And then um, below that room, there's a really cute little dining room. And you can see through the dining room, you can actually see into the living room. So that's kind of cute. Um, and then of course there's another door that leads back into the messy kitchen. So this dollhouse has, you know, survived for like 30 plus years and it's just in amazing condition and I was really really lucky to get my hands on it and you know kind of be able to fix it and you know add some more stuff to it it's kind of a busy little dining area and then um, of course here's the kitchen again and then if we go back around to this large window You've got the living room, which the music room is just up ahead. And then you have like a really big staircase. And this is a great little, and that little TV right there actually turns on. Um, I don't think I have it plugged in, but it turns on. It's really cute. It's got some pre-programmed stuff in it, like little TV shows. And then you can kind of see a little bit of the dining room through here, but very, very, very well-made dollhouse, I must say. And then here's um, the front door, which is kind of like a little peekaboo. You can kind of see the living room and uh, the dining area, and then they even have a little car. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed my little dollhouse tour and I will see you guys soon.